Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this matchup between the Seattle Seahawks and the San Francisco 49ers. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think you know, I, I was always, always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars at running back, and, man, just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. And he begins his return. It's the same as a touchback as he's tackled right at the 20. Gore is in the backfield. Gore's taking the handoff. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Nickel formation for the defense here. The wide receiver shifting around in motion. They need to get the playoff. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. Bolden's lined up in the slot. Third down and 12. Up the middle. Running a little college-like option. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Offense lines up here. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Running away from the pressure. The 49ers turned the ball over on down. We watched them in practice this week, Phil. Practicing plays inside the 20. Let's see what they come out with their first opportunity today inside the red zone. Well, you've said it many times. This is where you win or lose the football game. They got the quarterback and the receivers to make it happen. Offense lines up here. First and ten. And he's forced to the ground. Ah, oh, nothing better than the defense to sack the quarterback.
Early in the game gives you confidence that you can just beat them physically. Nothing like whipping the other guy. The offensive line gets in position. Can they protect their quarterback? It's handed to the running back. Fights through that hit. Good job that time by the offense. Power run gets him a few yards. And Rice is in the slot. Third and 13. They're setting up screen. Seattle is in for the score. Touchdown. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead. And it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. There is a flag out. The PAT sails wide here. Well, looks like the defender was caught in the neutral zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. Quarterbacks are a little sneaky here. And the extra point is good. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. Ohio! Ohio! First down coming up. Gore. He's headed right. And he's taken down at the 36, but that's enough for the first down. Well, the long run that time, and there's a lot of reasons why they got that long run. But the, the biggest one... A good blocking up front, but what patience for the running back. He did not panic because it took a while for that running lane to develop. When it did, he saw it, he hit it, and he used his talents to get down the field for the big game. The Seahawks' defense now is going to go nickel. Second attempt, looking for an open receiver on the right. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. How about that? We just saw the fly route straight down the field by the wide receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. There's some shifting around in the backfield. Kaepernick's back in shotgun formation. And they sack the quarterback. The offensive line did a terrible job that time reacting to the blitz by the defense. They let the defenders come free, and they sack the quarterback. Here comes the wide receiver in motion. Kaepernick standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. The pass is incomplete. There was no one open. In these type of situations, when you're losing the game, it's third and long. Don't try to be a hero, because when you try to be a hero, it's going to lead to a turnover. Then you really will be in trouble. Flex round! Flex round! Bolden's a receiver in the slot. Third and 20. And he'll go to the left. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. Kaepernick from the gun. They'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Well, you got to live with this decision now, big guy. You go for it on fourth and long. It fails. 
probably going to give up some points because of a bad decision by you. First down here. Lynch is the ball carrier out of the eye. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're a running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running it. Lynch is lined up in a single back formation. On second and nine, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Tackled at the 13th. Boy, after watching that long run, I'm winded. That was a nice job by the running back. Good job up front, sustaining the blocks. Offense has got to be happy with that. Offense lining up here after picking up more than 30 on the previous play. First down and 10. Play action. Throws to the right. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. That wraps up the first quarter here in San Francisco. We'll be back in just a moment for the start of the second. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. The quarterback snap count got the defense there. Encroachment, the defense. Still first down. It's first down as they head to the line. the second quarter they jam it in on the goal line touchdown the fullback gets the touchdown so many things they do are underappreciated blocking for the running back protecting the quarterback but nothing like scoring a touchdown Seahawks ready here for the kickoff The Seahawks lined up in the nickel. Running back gets it on the handoff. They've got him down there. Well, when you give up a running play that that's long, you got to say this to the defense. You did not hustle enough. If you are hustling, when that running back makes that secondary move, you've got to be there to make the tackle. Swarm the football. That's how you stop long runs. Good job that time by the running back getting down the field and picking up big yards. First down here after the run. They hand it off to him again. They deck him in the backfield. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Bolden's going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now this defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long. Advantage goes to the defense. Third down and 13. Straight ahead. Ball is out. He's into the open. No one's going to get him now. The 10 man in for the touchdown. Anytime you're on the offensive side and you fumble and the defense picks it up and takes it for a long touchdown, wow, that is hard to overcome. So what a job by the defense. Very opportunistic. Take advantage of those situations when they come up. The point after try is in the books. Let's get the injury report from Danielle Bellini. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time and then he'll get back on the field.
and he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They come to the line, and it's first down. And the give to Frank Gore. Coming up, second down. Ball is out. Recovery by the offense. One thing coaches hate when their offense is on the field is fumbling the football. Because a lot of times, it's just bad fundamentals. But they're lucky this time. They have the fumble. They're able to get on top of it. Crabtree there with some short hands to pull it in the rocket pass. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the call. First and ten. The 49ers get a first down. Uh, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, a double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Second down and 13. Going across the middle, deflected away. Good job by the linebacker. Just watching the quarterback, reading his eyes. He made the move at the right time, and he knocked the pass down. It'll be third down. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. And Crabtree is going to pull in the bullet pass. That's a touchdown, and that tightens things up. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas, and even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catches. going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. You talk about momentum, that turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody nervous. Harvin's lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. This will be second down. 
Russell Wilson will take it from the gun. He makes the catch. Nice job by the quarterback. Nobody open down the field. He throws it short. It does not get a first down, but it sure makes third down a lot easier. And Rice is lined up in the slot. Two-minute warning. down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. Wilson from the shotgun. Escaping the pressure, challenging the defenders to the right side. This is going to be a long field goal attempt. And he puts it through for three. Well, you come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and they gave up the field goal. Touchback. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. First and ten. That catch, good for a first down. Quarterback that time realized it was zone coverage. He just waited for the defense to get out of position, and he threw it to the open hole. They've got a first down now after that catch. Gets away from the pressure, and here he goes. That's second down coming up. Getting away from the pressure. And he's brought to the ground. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. On the run, got a little crease. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. Well, the defense put the pressure on the quarterback, but they didn't take advantage of it. He gets outside the pocket and then takes off down the field and picks up a lot of yards. Man, nice job by the QB. First and 10, looking to the right side and throwing. And complete, and that gains a few. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. The Seahawks come out in the nickel. Second and eight. No one was open. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time, the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! 
Play number six coming up on this drive. Down the field. Incomplete, almost going in the other direction. That's what you have to do as a defensive back. You got to wait to the last second. Wait till the receiver uses his hands. And once they go up, put your hand in between them and knock that football down. What a play. This will be the last Ohio. play before halftime. Here we go. We're the end. Ohio. 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 The running back goes in motion. Takes the staff from the shotgun. The pass complete. I guess that's how we're going to be today, isn't it? Uh, we're just going to go for it on fourth down. That time they go for it and they get it. Good job. The 49ers in field goal formation. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker that time. Nice job by the offense moving the football down the field. We're back here now in this one where the Seahawks lead by 13. The Seahawks are set to return the kickoff. This kick will stay on the ground, avoiding a big return. Gets out past the 30, brought down near the 35. Marshawn Lynch is in the backfield. Second half gets rolling now as he takes the snap. In this defense, they are tough. When you run that football, they got some men up front. And that time they stopped that run just for a short game. They went with the ground game on first down, bringing up second. Running to his right. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Well, it's about deceiving the defense, isn't it? That's how you get a lot done in the NFL. And when you can run and pass, you can deceive them in a lot of ways. Nice job by the offense running that football, picking up another first down and moving the chains. Russell Wilson has it under center. Now first and ten. Lynch trying to power his way right up the middle. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just put his big butt right into the ground. That last running play was good for only a yard, so it's second down and nine. Right back to him one more time. He's in the clear, makes the move, and gets around the defender. Good job by the running back on that long run. It's one thing to have talent, but the first thing you need as a running back is vision. You have to pick the right running lane. That's what he did that time, able to get down the field and get that long game. They're able to move the chains after that last run. Screen. He didn't look it in. Well, he dropped the football. There's no doubt why he dropped it. You have to look it in. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Second and ten. Lynch is handed the football. They pounce on him there. What a good job by the defensive player there. Just flushing the running back and driving him into the ground. Lined up in the pistol formation. Midway into the third. A tackle that had to be made. That'll set up fourth down. 
That's just a bad job by the quarterback that time. Bad decision. He keeps the football, doesn't fool the defense, and he gets taken to the ground. He loses yards. was a golfer he would lead the golf tour in driving accuracy he is a machine when it comes to kicking field goals and he fails to get out to the 20 and he is smacked down at the 15-yard line. Colin Kaepernick under center, first and 10. And incomplete. Quarterback was under a lot of duress on that pass, and alas, it's incomplete. I, I listen, I know he was under duress, but you got to hit these type of throws in the NFL. You're not always going to get perfect protection. That's not a good job by the quarterback. Ohio! Ohio! Nickel formation here for the defense. They feed the running back. Gets past the first wave. Impressive piece of running by Gore. I like this. Show some patience. Don't try to get it all in one play. Pick up first downs and try to go down the field and score. Let's see how they back up the big play here. The defense gets the sack. I don't know what the quarterback was looking at. He had to know the defense was blitzing that time. Doesn't make a quick enough decision, and the defense gets there and gets the sack. He'll fire it out to the left. Interception. That was a terrible throw by the quarterback. When you're off target like that, you deserve to throw an interception. Danielle's got an injury update for us. Let's go to her now. Guys, I just spoke with a Seahawks official. It appears this is just a minor injury, so he'll be back on the field here in short order. They face first down. To the ground here. Wide to the left. That brings the play to an end. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. The Seahawks in the pistol. Second and six, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The Seahawks will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third down and six. Screen play is on. Touchdown. Well, that was a good job on that touchdown that time. And I'll tell you, there's nothing like being on top of the other team and make them chase you. The Seahawks lined up now for the point after. Count it. The 49ers in kickoff return formation. And 
they have this return completely covered, tackling him inside the 15. The 49ers getting set now for their next series. The defense comes out in the nickel. Frank Gore gets it here. Slips past one player. 15 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. Now they'll try over again on second down. The final quarter begins with this snap. Oh, should have had it. You don't see it often in today's game. These gloves these wide receivers wear, my gosh, anybody could catch it. I don't know how he dropped it. The defense comes out in the nickel. Third down and two. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Jim Vance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. That reception gave them the first down. He'll throw it over the middle. In on the stop. Well, when you play this type of defense where you play cover three, in other words, you have three defenders Playing one in the middle, one right, and one left. Well, the weakness of that defense is going to be underneath. So slam patterns, they're pretty easy against this cover three. What a hit, and the ball is dropped. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Nickel formation for the defense here. Gore is going to secure the handoff. Breaks out of that one. Impressive piece of running by Gore. By the first down by the offense, the defense is definitely getting fatigued. And when you get fatigued, you cannot think. So look at it. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And that's a gain of ten. Well, it doesn't look like much, but it really serves the purpose. Picks up the first down, and now they have a chance to open things up. First down here after the completion. The throw to the left. Bolden hauls in that bullet throw. Well, anytime you're in the red zone, you want to punch it in and get that touchdown. If they do that, look, they still... They're still going to be behind, but it gives them confidence moving forward. This will be the eighth play of this drive. He's got the touchdown. I would bet first and goal that the offense, about 90% of the time, is going to run the football. And what do they do here? They run it, and they get it done. That is power football at its best. up now for the two fumble they recover their own fumble how much does this stink they get the touchdown but Phil they fail to get the two Jim I think it takes a lot away from the football team it's a terrible decision now we'll find out if that one point comes back to home they're not going to risk the big return so here's the squid kick Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I had a chance to speak with a Seahawks team official. The staff is saying he's made things worse by trying to play through an injury sustained early in the game. So, guys, now he's definitely done for the remainder of this one. Running to the right. Now, second down. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. 
picks up four. Power running. A lot of teams in this league don't even do it anymore. This team, they can power it up in there and pick up those tough yards. The Seahawks will go with the pistol on this play. Third and five as they go ground here. And it's Patrick Willis who makes the tackle. It's a mindset. It's a culture. That's what you've got to create when you talk about running the football. And when you get it going the right way, you can grind a defense up. Another first down for this offense running the football. Takes in the slot. and 10. Lynch going to be a tackle for a loss. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play and they stopped it. in the pistol on this play. Second down and 12. Now they take the football onto the opponent's side of the field. When you're an offensive lineman and you can line up and just run the football straight ahead and pick up those kind of yards, you are going to get into the head of the defense. You're basically saying, we're tougher than you are and we're just going to come right at you. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. action looks to his left and he holds it in sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line and sometimes it's just bad defense they can't get to the quarterback and that's another completion by him. this will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter first and ten Lynch has got it on the handoff We've hit the two-minute warning in the second half. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stopped him for a short game. Lined up in the pistol formation. Tight ends in motion here. Second and nine, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, that time, the defense gets the tackle behind the line of scrimmage. And listen, I blame this one on the quarterback. When you see the defense in a situation like that, you must change the play. Don't waste one in the NFL. You don't get enough chances as it is, and that one lost yards. After that run, it's still third and nine to go. Third and nine. They hand it off to the running back. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd the line of scrimmage. And you just you just played right into their hands. And they got the tackle for the loss. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. is down. Offense. 
still fourth down. John Ryan will be called on to send this one down the field. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Good piece of tackling. First down, they go counter, heading right. And he's out of bounds. When you talk about counter runs, what we just saw that time, the defense thinks the play's going one way, then a pulling guard or tackle comes around and catches a defensive lineman off guard and makes a good block. Gore is a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. Trying to plow ahead. We're running it like it's an option play. Impressive piece of running by Gore. That was a good call that time by the offensive coordinator. He looks out on the field. Everybody's dropped back looking for pass. So he took what was available, and they rip off a long run that time. Leaning on that running attack again here on first down. What that run does, it just puts the offense in a good situation. So a good, positive run. That's going to do it here in this one. Phil, before we go, how about...